when they get that real test uh, to win hockey games, I think they'll be all right. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst sports teams of all time. I think they were embarrassed by it, and I think that created anger. For this list, we'll be ranking the sports teams that either suffered long-standing losing streaks or that otherwise endured bouts of ill luck. We'll be including a cross-selection of sports, rather than focusing upon any particular pastime. Are you a fan of any of these teams? Show your support in the comments. Number 10. The 1971 Buffalo Bills the Buffalo Bills had only been an NFL franchise for a year prior to their 1971 season. However, we wouldn't have blamed the Bills for just calling it quits after this. Their performance was so dismal. Buffalo only mustered a single win, going 1 for 13. All the misery and frustration finally came to an end as Buffalo defeated New England 27 to 20. This 1971 season set a franchise record for losing percentage. Although, in fairness, their coach did resign at the season's onset. Still, this didn't mean much when the Bills would often go scoreless in their games. There haven't been many touchdowns for O.J. Simpson this season, so he graciously congratulated everybody, including Houston's Elvin Buffet, number 65. Number 9. The 1935 Boston Braves. Babe, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope that you'll enable us to bring a pennant to Boston. The Boston Braves were another team to feature a high-profile player within their organization. Here, it was the iconic Babe Ruth, although not even the Bambino could salvage the Braves' 1935 season. Ruth had joined on with the Braves as a vice president, assistant manager, and player, but the team still came in dead last at the end of the day. The Babe's best days were clearly behind him, and he would officially retire later on in 1935. Ever the showman, he defiantly hit three homers in one of his final games. But at age 40, the Babe retired as a player and spent three years away from the game. Boston did win its opening day game against the Yankees, but Ruth's inability to field and physical deterioration were just part of the writing on the wall. He knew that his career as a player was nearing an end, but I just he was desperately reaching out to keep some connection with the game. Ruth always harbored the hope that by signing on with, with Boston, the Braves, uh, as a player, this could mean a transition to becoming a manager. The Braves were doomed in 1935. Number 8. The 2009-2010 New Jersey Nets Setting league records isn't always a good thing or something which to strive for. Case in point, that time when the New Jersey Nets made NBA history by losing their first 18 games. To make things worse, the Nets only mustered up two wins out of their first 30 games. This set the stage for a truly depressing season, one that only got worse as the Nets kept setting records in the wrong direction. Finally, the team tied one infamous record, being one of an elite few with the worst 50-game record. Yikes. Number 7. The 1992-1993 San Jose Sharks The San Jose Sharks, much like the 1971 Bills, were another franchise to suffer a sophomore slump. This time, it was in the NHL, and a franchise that seemed destined to set more negative records. How negative, you may ask? Well, how about losing 17 games in a row during the 1992-93 season? And it's going to be a pretty good scramble before it's all done here. How does that grab you? Oh, not bad enough? Well, the San Jose Sharks also set a league record for most losses in a single season. But wait, there's more. Hockey is, historically speaking, a low-scoring game. Yet the Sharks somehow managed to allow the Calgary Flames to score 13, count them, 13 unanswered goals. Number 6. The 1992-1993 Philadelphia 76ers The Philadelphia 76ers didn't have inexperience as an excuse for their execution during the 1992-93 NBA season. The franchise had already played over 40 seasons in the league but did take on a fresh new head coach for that season. It didn't start off well, with the 76ers losing 11 of their first 14 games. The point spread was also bad for Philadelphia, as a number of their games saw the 76ers losing by over 50 points. It only got worse from there, 
Unfortunately, with their coach Doug Moe being fired halfway through the season, the 76ers ended up with a 26 and 56 average. By the time the 1993 season mercifully came to a close, the Sixers would ultimately top that mark with a 10 and 72 record during the 2015-16 season. Number 5. The 1980-1981 Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets were a fresh-faced team back in 1980 ready for their second season in the NHL. The hapless Jets establish an NHL record of 28 games without a win. Folks, I'll tell you, the Jets looked like losers last night on Long Island. It was not to be, however, and they only managed to win 9 out of 80 games. They also allowed tons of goals during their time losing, to the tune of about 400. Meanwhile, their own goal percentage barely cracked 250 for the entire season. It was the sort of experience where a player just had to dust themselves off and hope for better things during the following year. But you rarely hear a boo from their fans. We may be at the bottom of the loop this year and maybe make sure a little climb next year, but look out, buddy, we're coming four or five years down the road. We'll be there. Good for you. Number four, the 1899 Cleveland Spiders. You could be forgiven for not knowing about the Cleveland Spiders. After all, this was a franchise that competed in the American Association back in the 1880s before eventually making it to the National League. It was their last year in said league that was most infamous, however, and the reason why they made this list. This was due to the team ownership also overseeing another team in St. Louis and deciding to switch all of Cleveland's best players to that city. As a result, the Spiders never had a chance finishing 20 and 134 for the season. They moved them to Cleveland, where they remained a pretty low-level nothing team. It became so bad that fans and visiting teams stopped showing up, and Cleveland was forced to play all of its games on the road. Number 3. The 1976 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Second worst team. I could stand it, but not the worst team. Tampa Bay was most certainly justified in celebrating their team's 2021 Super Bowl win over the Kansas City Chiefs. That's because many fans remember when the Buccaneers were an absolute laughingstock. As far as the talent is concerned, I was shocked. We had players that probably couldn't have played at the University of Southern California on our second team, and they were starting for us. We're talking about seasons like Tampa Bay in 1976, their first year on the job. This NFL debut was infamous for the Bucs losing every game. That's right, every single game. They went 0-14 for the season, including nearly half of those where the Bucs went scoreless. With this defeat, the Buccaneers became the first team in NFL history to finish 0-14. It sounds like something of a sports nightmare, but this was very, very real. The Buccaneers had a lot of work to do, and it wouldn't be until 2003 when the team finally won their first Super Bowl. Number 2. The 2014-2015 Grenchen FC The first league classic is a division of the Premier League that operates football slash soccer out of Switzerland. Grenchen FC is a Swiss team that was notable for winning that country's Swiss Cup back in 1959. That's essentially where the dream dies there for Grenchen, however, as evidenced by this disastrous 2014-2015 season. The team came in dead last in their Group 2 division, losing an astonishing 23 matches out of 26. Grenchen also lost nine of these matches in a row, including one match where the margin of loss was 10. Believe it or not, we definitely would not have wanted to be in their shoes or make that cleats on that day. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The 2008 Detroit Lions Here comes Jared Allen and he's out of bounds. Poor guy, I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. One silver lining for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was the fact that they've won two Super Bowls. The Detroit Lions, tragically, have never gone all the way. And this not-so-fun fact is compounded, historically, by the franchise's disastrous 2008 season. 
they don't protect the quarterback well. They don't run the ball consistently. They don't stop the run. This team got zero sacks against the Orleans Saints. The Lions went winless that year and made even worse history by losing 16 games as opposed to the Bucks' 14. Their defense was particularly dismal, allowing over 500 total points. There isn't even a silver lining here. We just honestly feel bad for Detroit. And the O in Motown officially stands for O in 16, the first of its kind in NFL history. Unfortunately, they wouldn't be the last team to go winless in the NFL. Now here we are on New Year's Eve, talking about a team that will go down as one of the worst in NFL history. The 2017 Browns joined the 2008 Lions as the only teams to go 0 in 16. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.